welcome back to Davin Biology. So as you guys already know, like this video is about our SPM 24 Bio Amali. Photosynthesis is the experiment already, right? You all know already. So uh, in this video, of course, we are mainly going to focus on how to answer our Amali questions because remember, do questions only got marks. Ah. So we'll be prioritizing on that. So questions like, for instance, operational definition is still the one that quite a lot of you are still wondering how to do, right? Yeah, so those are one of the few things that we'll be focusing on. So of course, besides that, uh, observation, uh, hypothesis, graph, uh, how to do, uh, is what we're going to do. Lah. So first, when you get your paper, the questions, right? I want you to look at this sentence specifically to study, to investigate, to identify because this is where you get the envy of your experiment. So they say to study the effect of light intensity on the rate of photosynthesis. Now, because photosynthesis, there are three factors that affect photosynthesis. Light, CO2, concentration, and temperature. So most likely it will be light, but there's a possibility it could be carbon dioxide. For temperature, I don't think there will be very high chances because it's very hard to manipulate the temperature of the water. So for light intensity, you can see this is definitely our manipulated variable. So for light, you all know already, you have to adjust the, the distance of light source towards the, from the hydrilla plant. Okay, so let's say it, it's carbon dioxide concentration here, you need to adjust the concentration of the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, which of course they will give you different concentration. So RV is the rate of photosynthesis. So for bio, most likely it will be a guided experiment, means they will give you this procedure of it. I don't think you need to, to, to write the procedure, but let's say if they ask you to write the procedure, uh, I will include these notes in the description below. They will be linked, you can click and get it. So you can see here, they already mentioned here, light bulb, light the bulb at the distance from hydrilla to, at 20 cm. And then in the end, they ask you to repeat the whole thing using different distance. So that's very obvious. This is the manipulated variable, the distance of light source. And, and let's say question, uh, they ask you to write variables, right? manipulated variable. I don't want you to write, uh, what's it called? Light intensity. The variables you use have to be the variables in the experiment. So how do we change the light intensity? We change the light intensity, we manipulate the light intensity by adjusting the distance of the light source. So you have to write distance between the light source and hydrilla, not light intensity. So for carbon dioxide, let's say if the MV is carbon dioxide concentration, same, don't write carbon dioxide concentration, write the concentration of sodium carbonate solution. Understand? Okay, then for constant variable, it's very easy to find. So for constant variable, again, don't mention like a uh, type of plant, type of this, type of that. Constant variable, you have to write something that have a unit that can measure. So for example, they already tell us sodium hydrogen carbonate solution must be at 0.2%. There's no other concentration of sodium hydrogen carbonate solution here, only 0.2. So therefore, this is definitely your constant variable. Lor. Okay, so things that can measure, things that have unit. For instance, here, temperature of water, you actually also can mention because they got give 30 degrees. But let's say if the procedure, they didn't mention 30 degrees, they didn't mention 28 degrees, then better not to pick that as your constant variable because constant uh, use the things that they could give you value. Like for example, this they could give, this they could give. So therefore, my constant, you can either say concentration of sodium carbonate, hydrogen sodium, hydrogen carbonate solution. You can even say temperature of your distilled water. Or you can even say the voltage of light bulb if they got give. For example, this question they could give 60 watt. You can follow. Actually, that's power, right? Yeah, so you can write that. But the safest is always sodium hydrogen carbonate solution. Just, just use this. Okay, so that would be your constant. So for responding variable, same. Do not write rate of photosynthesis. So in this experiment, how do I uh, count the rate of photosynthesis? Is by counting the air bubbles released as most of you already should know. So they already mentioned here, counts and records the number of air bubbles released in five minutes. So if this is a guided experiment, it will be mentioned, it will mention how long you need to, 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 to carry out the experiment, the duration of the experiment, which I means I need to soak this thing here for five minutes, exposing to the light. Then only I record the bubble, okay? So yeah, here you mentioned, Oops, the number of air bubbles released don't write rate of photosynthesis. Now, so regarding on how to count the number of air bubbles is now, so right after you set up already, start the stopwatch and then immediately start counting the bubbles. And the bubbles, how to count, right? You only count the bubbles that uh, it's released. Do not count the bubble that is on the surface of the leaf. Because as a photosynthesis, right, there will be bubbles accumulating on the surface of the leaf, but only count when it starts to rise to the surface of the water. Okay, so that's a quick tip. 
So from here, we already done the three variables. And in case, let's say they ask the precautionary step, I already given you here as well. So the precautionary step is after every time you change the distance, means from 20 cm, you're going to change to 30, you need to replace the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution because if you don't change it, the carbon dioxide will, will decrease because you, the, the plant will use the carbon dioxide. Mark. So you have to change it every time you, you change the distance. So replace the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution in the boiling tube after every distance that you change. Okay, so that is your precautionary. Replace the sodium hydrogen carbonate. Okay, and variables, we're done. And then next, uh, record data. So please do not memorize data. So I'll just leave it blank here. Okay, so we just uh, do your experiment. Most likely, I think there'll be three only, like maximum one until five, uh, because we do not have time, that much time. So yeah, every CM, count the bubbles. Then observation. How to write observation? Okay, so observation first. If let's say they ask one observation, you pick either the lowest or the highest data as your observation. If they ask two, then you just pick the highest and the lowest. Okay, so let's say here I pick 60 cm. So 60 cm, the air bubbles definitely will be the lowest. Definitely the rate of photosynthesis will be the lowest, right? But please don't say lowest, the less, least, lower photosynthesis, don't write that. Okay, how to answer observation is, right, you need to write the MV, manipulated variable punya value, and RV punya value. So let me use another color here. Okay, yeah, so MV punya value and RV punya value. So for example, I would say at 60 cm, the number of air bubble reads, let's say, 5. So you must say it's 5. Please don't say, oh, when uh, the distance 60 cm, the rate of photosynthesis is the lowest. The, uh, the air bubble is the least. No, you must write the variable punya value so my mv is this is distance please include 60 cm my responding is number of air bubbles please write the number of air bubble because if you say photosynthesis low uh rate of uh, light intensity low this is actually explaining already that's actually inference now this is what you need to write at the next sentence so now you go to explain okay why 60 only got five bubble which is the lowest so we all know why it's the lowest because light intensity low rate of photosynthesis no so inference only we use bio knowledge use theory to explain reason why there's only five bubbles the least because photosynthesis low light intensity low simple as that if they ask us to write two observation two inference then you just pick another one 20 no? so this one will be the opposite air bubbles then is the highest because rate of photosynthesis is highest light intensity high okay so that's how you write inference inference is you explain your observation now, then here, uh, I will really give you a uh, sample data, but please do not memorize this data unless you really, really have no choice. Really, really, in the end, your experiment, you cannot, cannot even do, no bubble come out, uh, then only you hunt down the data. La. But when you hunt down data, please also use common sense, meaning lower the light source, the bubble will be the most. Not lower the light source, so it's lesser the distance. The bubble will be the most because light intensity highest. Ma. If it's the furthest distance, the light bubble will be the lowest. So there might be one calculation so the only calculation that they can ask you is calculate the rate of photosynthesis so i already written here for you the bubble number of bubbles released divided by time so it's per minute very simple rate per minute so you just take the bubbles the total number released and divide five minutes depending on how, what's the duration they give you it could be six minutes could be seven minutes so it depends on they ask you to to carry the experiment for how long so not every time is five minutes, but most likely it will be five minutes. So the number of bubbles released in five minutes divide five minutes off. Like for example, there's 35 bubbles. So I divide five minutes, you get seven. Now for this one, you don't need to write the calculation. You just write the answer can already. And decimal, please take notes. If let's say one of the data has one decimal, every other data has to have a decimal as well. For, for instance, 7.04. Okay then maybe there could be a graph they ask you to draw. So the graph here is to show the relationship between, uh, sorry here, a bit mistake. This is not number of air bubble, this is the rate of photosynthesis and the distance. So it will be something like that. It should be inversely proportional, means the further the distance, the lower the rate of the photosynthesis. Okay, which graph most likely it will be a straight line. If it's not, then you just, you just freehand the part that is not, not joining together. So yeah, overall, most people will say graph freehand. But if let's say all the points align, right, just use ruler. If not, then you freehand. Okay. Then next, state the relationship 
oops, between the effect of light intensity and the rate. So relationship is semakin semakin, meaning light increase, photons things increase, right? But they ask you to explain also two marks you definitely have to explain so you add a bit of bio knowledge also why more light more photosynthesis because more light more photolysis of water more oxygen release that's why greater photosynthesis increase all right next prediction question so here i give you two example of prediction question two prediction two two example like for example they say number one our experience repeated using apparatus setup of 30 cm distance but they now replace the 0 0.2 sodium hydrogen carbonate with 0 0.3 so meaning to say your rate of photosynthesis is going to increase because you have more carbon dioxide right common sense sodium hydrogen company provides the carbon dioxide so in this ex kind of experiment uh prediction question right they most likely will want you to refer back to your experiment so 30 cm so we look back at 30 cm which is now here the air bubbles release was 28 so if i increase the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, meaning I increase the carbon dioxide. Photosynthesis is going to increase, meaning the air bubble will definitely be more than 28. Hence, we will say the gas bubble release is more than 28. So this is how you write prediction. You refer back to your experiment and then write, is it more than or less than compared to just now putting your data? So this is how we answer. We are using more than, less than. Then we explain, oh, because carbon dioxide more photosynthesis more okay next i give you another one here so see now we're using the 30 cm one again now quite some of uh your some of my students say that there's this sulfuric acid thing which most likely i think they'll be you'll be asked in a prediction question so they say now i add sulfuric acid to the sodium hydrogen carbonate solution so chemistry guys if you react these two together you will basically produce salt, water, and carbon dioxide. It's not mistaken, I think you can receive that, right? So there will be carbon dioxide is the main thing. More, means more carbon dioxide will be released. So same thing, you're going to have more carbon dioxide, more photosynthesis. So the way you're going to answer is the same. Refer back to the 30 cm distance at the time. It was 28 bubble. So now more than 28 because you will produce CO2, right? These two reacts to produce CO2. More CO2, more photosynthesis. So this, you need to take note that if there's sulfuric acid, this is the purpose of sulfuric acid. When it reacts with sodium hydrogen carbonate solution, more carbon dioxide, more photosynthesis, more bubbles. Very straightforward. And finally, the last one, operational definition. Now, operational definition is something that a lot of you will ask how to answer, teach you what is operational definition. Now, for bio, there's a specific format. It's different in chemistry. For bio, two marks. Last time was three. Lah. Now, most likely, it's too early whereby number one the first point right you have to write like a simple definition based on the experiment now different teachers will have different ways and different answers so uh for mine is this photosynthesis is the oxygen gas released by hydrilla sp meaning you explain photosynthesis based on the experiment that you carry out so it's not the definition from your textbook okay now then the second and third one now this is easier this variables from the experiment. So this one just copy the variables from the experiment. So they say here, shown by number. So photosynthesis is the oxygen gas released by hydrilla, shown by number of air bubbles released in five minutes, which is your manipulated, so responding variable, which is affected by distance between light source and hydrilla manipulated. So regardless of what experiment you're doing, responding variable is always affected by manipulated in this case air bubbles released in five minutes is affected by the distance of light source towards the hydrogen plant so of course mv could be carbon dioxide so if let's say your mv is carbon dioxide you have to say affected by concentration of sodium hydrogen carbonate solution so please don't just memorize blindly so that's it for our amali video hope this actually helped you guys a lot if you have any questions please do ask at the comment section below i'll try my best to answer very quick and for my next video i'll basically do a uh, state trial video very very soon so if there's any state trial or any specific topic that you might need help yeah you can comment below i'll try my best to fulfill your wish so i'll see you guys in my next video very very soon goodbye good luck